In tonight's Healthier Me, lots of people treat their pets like humans or family. One woman in Ohio wants to make sure those pets feel pampered, even in their final days of life. Kayla Strayer gives us a look at a unique pet hospice program. Hi, Step inside the Island Safe Harbor Animal Sanctuary, you'll see dogs and cats of all kinds being cared and loved for, some of them for the first time in their lives. Nancy Benevento Brown opened this five years ago. It runs on donations. It just kind of bl blossomed from eight kennels to two buildings to 56 kennels. So it's just growing a little bit rapidly, but we try to help as many as we can. All of the animals here get plenty of treats and playtime outside, but several of them get extra attention and medical care. It's part of the Angel Watch Pet Hospice Program. Dogs like Cutesy and Lionel have tumors and likely don't have much longer to live. If you walk around and you have the mindset of crying all day long, they feel that. You can't feel sadness. You have to feel happy, so they feel happy. Animal rescue groups contact Nancy when they have animals in need. Many of them come from abusive situations. The goal is to make them feel safe, welcome, and happy, and eventually be able to be adopted. We don't want to see that spark come back in their eyes. We want to see them have fun in that backyard. Uh, we want to see them play a little bit, a little, little bounce in that step. And it, it's an amazing transformation. If you don't come here every day, and you come a week apart, you, you can't believe the difference in them. It's an emotional job, especially when one of their dogs passes away, but Nancy keeps her head up. The hardest thing is to, when I have the vet appointment, and to come back with an empty leash. That's when you have to sit everyone down and say, now we're gonna move forward because we have another one we have to save. The owner wants to stress that animals cannot be dropped off at their location due to health concerns. They take in animals from rescue groups.